Hi, I'm Michelle McCaskill, and welcome to this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. After almost four years of intensive planning, the disposal of 22 Spartan missile motors that have been in storage for over 30 years at Anniston Army Depot began earlier this month. The Spartan missile motor was designed for an anti-ballistic missile system in the 1960s, but was never used in combat. For the past 32 years, they've been stored in igloos in the depot's restricted area. In order to stabilize the motor, it is filled with water, bringing the total weight to 20,000 pounds. A final check then takes place before closing the lid and moving it out of the storage igloo. The motor, now placed inside a sealed container, awaits loading onto the transport truck. After the motor has been loaded and secured onto the truck, it proceeds to the disposal area very slowly, no faster than 10 miles per hour, and is tracked by a global positioning system throughout the journey. Upon arrival at the disposal site, a forklift removes the motor and places it into a specially constructed berm where workers prepare to open the lid. In preparing the motor for destruction, munitions and explosives experts put in place shape charges that will ignite the burn from a remote location. After the last safety and weather checks take place, the DML team moves to a bunker and the firing sequence is initiated remotely. The resulting fire and burn takes approximately eight minutes. The intensity of the fire reaches temperatures between 3,500 and 5,000 degrees. 24 hours after the burn takes place, workers inspect the motor and determine that all the propellant has been completely destroyed. All that remains are remnants of the motor's casing. Due to the efforts of several teams of dedicated professionals at Anniston Army Depot, the disposal process is being conducted successfully and safely. Officials estimate it will take approximately six months to destroy the rest of the Spartan missile motors. Well, that's all for this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.